It was a special day when this object was first uh, discovered. Uh, we have been waiting for the discovery of an interstellar object for decades, basically. Oh, when I first heard about this interstellar object, it was very exciting just from a scientific point of view that finally there's uh, been an actual observation of such an object. This object is simply a piece of another solar system that was expelled and it has been traveling through interstellar space for hundreds of millions of years, billions of years, we don't know. A number of our uh, survey projects and other observatories uh, immediately turned their telescopes to take observations of this object. From the observations we have so far, it uh, looks like it's a very elongated object, uh, maybe uh, about a quarter mile in length. We think this object, 2017 U1, is very long, perhaps 400 meters or so long and very narrow, skinny, perhaps maybe 40 meters or so in the other dimensions. That's a very unusual shape. We don't see that in our solar system. None of the asteroids in our solar system look like that. So it's very puzzling how it could have obtained this shape. We also see that it's uh, uh, very reddish uh, in color, which uh, indicates that uh, it's been uh, uh, possibly in space a, a long time uh, and irradiated by uh, not only the light from our sun, but uh, other suns as well. There's still quite a bit to learn about this interstellar object and, and limited time because it's on its way out of the solar system. It's fading very fast. It's a relatively uh, small object, so it's uh, very dim. But we are continuing to try to use NASA assets like the Hubble Space Telescope and Spitzer to take uh, observations to determine more about its uh, size and composition. NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office has a near-Earth object observations program which funds efforts that survey the skies to look for near-Earth asteroids and to calculate their orbits and their trajectories and to determine if any of them might pose a hazard to Earth. And as part of doing that, some amazing discoveries can happen, and the discovery of this interstellar object was one of them. As our observational capabilities improve, PanSTARS has been getting better, other surveys have been getting better. There are a new generation surveys that will come online. We will be detecting more of these in the future. In the United States, copyright law allows for the fair use of copyrighted material under certain limited circumstances without the prior permission from the owner. Under the law, determinations of fair use take into account the purpose of the use, the nature of the copyrighted work, the amount and substantiality of the work used in relation to the work as a whole, and the effect of the use upon the potential market for the copyrighted work. Other jurisdictions may have similar copyright provisions protecting fair use or fair dealing. If you are uncertain as to whether a specific use qualifies as a fair use, you should consult a qualified copyright attorney. You have the right to take it down.